Um, so, if you click on this video, like, uh, I don't know why you clicked on it, but maybe you did for a certain reason. But, uh, so, I listened to this guy in my comments of my last video saying, if I disable the P cores, or sorry, the E cores on my 12900K, I would get significantly better performance. And, uh, he was very right. Like, I am not stuttering at all. This is insane. Now, we're going to go into the area that I got 20, uh, 20s, like low 20, uh, mid 20s to like not even 40 FPS. This area right here is where I got 20 to 40 FPS. No stutters. No stutters at all. The game isn't stuttering. So if you guys have a 12th generation or a 13th generation CPU from Intel, go into your BIOS. It's not that hard. Look at a video because everyone has a different BIOS. But go into your BIOS and disable the E cores. Not the P cores, the E cores. Those are the efficiency cores. And I think the game doesn't understand which CPU uh, CPU cores to use because I'm guessing it uses the E cores and the E cores underperform and they just don't mix well. It's probably the engine, but uh, this is 1440p by the way with a 4090. This is actually insane and I was not gonna lie, pretty depressed after getting the 4090 and seeing it like in this area, I'd get like 20 FPS. Like, it, it hit hard. But look at this. A hundred. Over a hundred. So, this is just a quick little thing. I think I'm going to do another benchmark. A full benchmark with all the settings and stuff. But, uh, if you have a 12th or 13th gen Intel CPU, make sure to turn off the E cores if you are playing, um, Star Citizen. Look at that. 120 FPS. Isn't that insane? At 1440p? Um, yeah, thank you for that guy. I don't, I can't remember his name. I was just curious after I got that message. Uh, yeah, thank you for telling me that. I did not know that, that was the issue. Because I did so much things trying to get the FPS to go higher and more stable. I never really thought this well I thought the CPU was the issue but I didn't know it was the actual E cores that was the issue oh, I'm so happy now though the only issue is, is that you know I want to have the E cores when I'm playing pretty much any other game but if um I'm playing Star Citizen I'm going to have to go to the BIOS to play which, I, which is fine which is fine it's annoying but I can live with it so yeah, um, the game was a horrible stuttering mess with a 4090 and 1200K before this, and now it's, like, it doesn't stutter. It doesn't stutter at all. Obviously, the CPU is being utilized a lot more versus, like, it's 20 to 30%. Now it's at, like, 60 to 70. That's, like, the range it goes to. It's in the 50s, too, I guess. But that's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. Also, I'm guessing that it's taking the cache, which is reserved for the E cores. And since the E cores aren't using it, I'm guessing this is probably very wrong that it go it lets the P cores use the extra cache, which increases performance a lot. So this is one area you would benefit from having a tw from a, a Ryzen CPU, especially something with like the 58 uh, 5800. Oh, sorry, yeah, 5800 3DX or X3D, the 3D Vcache uh, Ryzen CPU. Oh my, look at that. So you still can't get to full utilization, though honestly, it's just below. It's at 95. And this is definitely playable at 1440p. Definitely playable. And this is the most demanding area in the game. Except for being at Orson itself. But uh, yeah, we're going to do another benchmark after uh, 
uh, next week for sure. We're going to do a lot more intricate. We're going to go down there too and try to get this GPU used up because, dude, this is amazing. I can actually enjoy Star Citizen. I was so worried. I was so worried. Anyways, yeah. You got a new AMD CPU. You're probably feeling good because, you know, you're not a stuttery mess. Intel's got a... I don't know if Intel, if it's Intel that has to do it or if um, Star Citizen, the dev, has to do it. Like they have to um, update it so that the E cores aren't utilized or something. So yeah, I'm actually so happy. Holy crap. And if you are struggling to believe me for uh, my, uh, well, the performance issues I was talking about. Just uh, go watch my other video and watch me walk in here. Because I was totally thinking, okay, I'm probably going to have to re-download my uh, GPU drivers or something. Or maybe I'll look into the CPU. Maybe the CPU isn't updated to the correct driver. But, yeah. And if you have like a 12600 or 12400, you should be getting like the same performance because... Or not the same, but you should get relatively similar. A little, little bit less, but, you know, yeah. And, and anyone with the new Ryzen stuff, you guys are set. You are set. Okay. Well, that's the end of this video. We're going to do a full benchmark of this later again. Um, yeah. See you guys in the next one. Bye.